They say buy cheap or buy twice, but I disagree because here are 10 things you can buy for your YouTube studio setup that are budget, but yet worth every penny. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media. Now I'll be sure to post links down to everything that I mentioned down in the description below, as well as videos that we have that either review or expand on the things that I'm gonna be breaking down in this video. But the first thing I would recommend is the Rode Video Mic Go Two. This mic comes in at under $100, and this is a condenser mic, meaning you would typically boom this mic either out of the shot or put right on top of your camera. But what's so cool about this mic is it sounds incredible even when you bring it up really close to your mouth. So if you use it like a dynamic mic, like for podcasting, it is gonna give you a nice rich sound coming from it. And another cool thing about this mic is not only do you need to just plug in a 3.5 millimeter mic jack cable into the mic itself and then into your camera, but you can also use it as a USB mic. So you can use the USB port that is on the mic itself, plug into a computer, laptop, or even smartphone, and select it as your mic. And I love bringing this mic as my mic to travel with because it's versatile in that nature. You don't need to power this mic. And I'd say just generally speaking, this mic sounds way better than just a hundred bucks. And so if you're looking for a great condenser mic, then I would look at the Rode Video Mic Go too. The next budget piece of gear I would recommend is the Samson Q2U or the Samson Q9U. Both of these mics come in at under $100. The Q2U comes with a mic stand and everything you need essentially to get going straight out of the box. The Q9U at the time of shooting this video is only $100 on Amazon, which I think is like an insane deal. But this mic needs a little bit more accessories. Whether you get a boom arm with a clamp or you wanna get a tabletop stand for it, you do need to get something to hold up the mic. But nonetheless, these mics are incredible and also very versatile. These mics would be in the shot as you need them to be right around your mouth when using them, but they have the option to be used as USB mics, so it's very plug and play. They have a headphone out jack so you can monitor your audio or even monitor the audio coming from your computer into headphones. And you can also use them with the XLR option, which I like using when shooting podcasts at my studio. And personally, I love the design of the Q9U. It has a very vintage look, but still super clean with the matte black finish. But both of these mics give you an incredible sound with an incredible price. But if that's what you're going for, as opposed to the Rode, then check out those Samson mics. The third mic that I wanna recommend is a wireless lav mic. So this is the most versatile type of mic because you actually can move around and get consistent audio, but that is the Deity Pocket Wireless. I still have yet to find an all-in-one mic kit that comes with everything you need. A lot of the times mic kits, like even the new Rode Wireless Go Me, is awesome because it's easy to use and very plug and play, but it doesn't come with a clip on lab. You have to clip on the actual mic pack itself and it's just very ugly when it's in the shot. For $170, you're gonna get everything you need to include the clip on mic that you're gonna clip onto your shirt, as well as various different cables to be used, whether you're using this mic with a camera, a smartphone, or even your computer, and use it for Zoom calls and live streams, which is super cool and convenient which is a great one-time purchase if all you'll need is one wireless mic, and that is the Deity Pocket Wireless. The next piece of gear that I think is worth every penny is a solid state drive or an SSD, and you can get a two terabyte solid state drive for right around $150. Now, this isn't necessarily gonna increase the quality of your videos, but it is gonna increase your workflow. And having a drive that is not only trustworthy, but also fast is really key when you really start creating more and more content. And I absolutely love both the Samsung SSD as well as the SanDisk SSD. These are both great options. The next recommendation, I believe you should buy more than just one of, and that is is fast SD cards. A friend recently hit me up and he said that his camera wasn't allowing him to record past like seven minutes or so. And I said, get a faster SD card. And it allowed him to record 30 minute increments in his camera. And he had a fairly older camera, but because his SD card was so slow, the camera couldn't write fast enough in order to capture 30 minute files. And so investing into faster SD cards will be really smart for you. The next recommendation is a compact tripod from Ulanzi called the Ombra tripod. I've been loving this tripod so much. Not only is it lightweight, 
but having the ball head mount, and I would even say it's like cool looking too. It's a, it comes in a matte black finish with a little bit of red accents, but this tripod has been great since I've been using it for the last few months and I've taken it on a couple of trips and has taken a beating. But they also have another one if you want more of a video head that you're gonna do more panning and tilting. The next recommendation, this is gonna help you with live streaming and video conference calls, but that is the Blue AVS capture card, which is a super cheap capture card that'll allow you to use your camera as a webcam very easily, as well as a continuous power adapter. I think these two things are the smartest purchases you could make when you own a camera because you never know if you need to actually use your camera as a webcam, number one. And number two, if you don't typically move your camera when you're filming and you're sitting down kind of like this, then having a continuous power adapter where you know the battery will never die is actually a very smart thing that you can do in your workflow. This next recommendation is one that we absolutely love and that is the use of StreamYard for your online interviews. You know what I love about StreamYard is it's a web-based software that allows you to easily send a link to a guest and you can actually use it for an online interview. Now, what I love about StreamYard as opposed to other ones, it's not just meant to record you and your guests and then you have to edit it later. You can actually conduct the interview in real time and use the transitions that StreamYard includes to put your guests in full screen mode, to then go to split mode. You or somebody else can like DJ a conversation and at the end of the conversation, the edit is pretty much done. You can also live stream your conversation and interview into a Facebook group or your Facebook page or your YouTube or do it all at the same time. I've tried a lot of solutions and I think StreamYard is just one of the best for beginners. Thank you to StreamYard for sponsoring this video. The next recommendation a lot of people like to super cheap out on and that is lighting. But trust me when I say this, if you invest in good lighting, you'll never have to invest in it again. And the light that I love most at its price point is honestly the Amaran 60D. This is a compact cob light that comes in at around $150 for just the light, but you also can use it with external batteries. So if you don't wanna plug it in or you maybe you're running and gunning and you need to set up a shot real quick and light yourself, I love being able to use external batteries, which is super nice. But when you pair this with a lantern softbox or a dome light softbox, Box, which comes in at around 80 to $100. And you're gonna be surprised when you invest into a light setup like this, and you're gonna be like, dang, I look like a legit YouTuber. And that's because these types of lights create a very large yet soft light on your face, making it very flattering. But that is the Amaran 60D, one of my favorite lights that you could buy, and probably the only time you're gonna need to buy a light like this. The next recommendation is this wide angle clip-on lens for your smartphone that costs $40 at the time of shooting this video. This is called the Zenvo wide angle clip-on lens. And I personally love this lens as I create a lot of content with my smartphone, not only just for Instagram stories, but also even for reels. And the reason is, is because most of the time your smartphone has one superior lens on it, but it usually isn't that wide. And the wide angle lens doesn't do too good in low light. And so I personally love using this clip on lens on my iPhone with the best camera in the rear. And honestly, I keep this lens in my backpack because at any moment when I wanna create something with my smartphone, I just clip on the lens, start creating content. A few months ago, I got this accessory and it's definitely changed the game when shooting talking head videos. And that is a wireless remote for your camera. And depending on the camera you have, you might need to get a wireless remote that connects to your camera via Bluetooth, or you might get a wireless remote that connects to your camera via infrared. The Bluetooth remote, you just have to sync that up with your camera. I know a lot of people might say in the comments, well, you can actually download the app to your camera and use that as a wireless remote. Dude, do that. That's a free way that you can make your life easier. Personally, I just don't like using my phone for a million different things. And so just spending the 20 something dollars on a wireless remote has been incredible. And I've been using the Sony one with the Sony cameras and those have been awesome. But look into getting a wireless remote for your camera setup. It'll make your life easier as you just sit down hit record and start crushing content. If you got value in this video, hit that like button. And if you wanna check out another video from us here at Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.